I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars for March Libra. Now this month's full moon is in your sign. It's not till the end of the month on the 27th, but traditionally a full moon will give you a little bit of a shaker, gives you an opportunity to have a clean out or a clean break or whatever you need to do. If something is not working the way you want, it gives you an opportunity to change it. So try to let go of anything or anyone that you're destined to part company with. Don't hold on too tightly, okay? Now let's have a look at your career and money. So there's a lot of abundance of activity happening in your solar six house. This is all to do with your work. It's also an area to do with your health. Now you need to get organized. When there's a lot of activity in the six house, it's like you can really move ahead uh, with your productivity unless you're not organized okay so to get the most out of this energy you want to get your systems in place procedures uh, don't forget to schedule in some time for some pampering and de-stress as well because traditionally in this area and Mars is going to move into this area as as well um, or is in this area in the start of the month it's going to move out about on the 11th so particularly in the start of the month while Mars is there it can really just um, attempt you to do more than what is humanly possible okay and that's when your health and well-being can suffer so you don't want to let that suffer obviously so you want to schedule in your, your systems and your procedures, scheduling time for you, all right? Very, very important. Now let's have a look at love and romance of so Venus, which is your ruling planet, and Mars. Now Venus and Mars are part of the love duo. They're like the yin and yang of love. They're both going to transit into your seventh house of love and relationships and partnerships like throughout this month. So now next month, in uh, early April, both of these planets, Mars and Venus, are going to conjunct. Now when that happens, it's like, fireworks and particularly to be in your seventh house so what's happening at the moment is you're leading up to that point but whenever Mars and Venus are together it really just fuses that love energy so don't be surprised if you're looking for love you really could just cross paths with somebody that you connect with someone that you have like an electric connection with and then by the time you get to excuse me early next month when they conjunct it can really just put the stamp, the final stamp on a relationship, okay? So let's just say that the, the love vibe is going to increase in your life from now, okay, Libra? Now the Sun and Uranus are going to conjunct in the same area of your chart, it's seventh house, at the end of the month on the 29th. So when this happens, it could be some unexpected developments or changes. You want to be careful of being too impulsive, but even when I, even while I say that, it's almost impossible not to. Um, so. Uh, but you know you want to if possible think things through and I know you like to do that Libra but I, I, I guess with what I'm trying to say is you may not have the chance to think things through as much as you would like to so there's like a, an, an area of um, impulsiveness there so an unexpected development so that's right at the end of the month so watch out for that now my angel advice for you for March is keep yourself open to change I mean and sometimes to change your life Libra it's as it's as simple as changing your attitude okay so keep an open mind and an open heart I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching have a great month